I have crippling depression. What it do, gaming crew? It is I, the geek of all things dark and edgy. Anyway, yeah, I'm back. Sort of. I uploaded a, a video. A little small video yesterday just for the lols. But. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm more or less officially back, even though I'm not going to commit to uploading videos every day. But I am going to try to bring you guys some real content and not just more update videos, because I can see some of you being like, Oh, this guy only uploads useless update videos on totes on subscribing. Which, I mean, if you do, that's all you. Although, I, I will be a little sad. Anyway, um... Yeah, I had some big plans. Some really big plans. Plans that were too big, in fact. Um, so, I am changing those plans because I can. Say, I was originally going to review Off by Mortis Ghost... Which kind of put in some wordplay in the last video, kind of threw far too many hints out there for anyone to, to not get it, but apparently nobody got it, or at least nobody said anything. Um, but yeah, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but uh, yeah titled the video, Taking Some Time OFF, even put it in all caps like the title of the game, used music from the game in the video, and even did a little bit of a pause before being like, taking some time off. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I am not doing that, at least, at least not yet. There are some things that I would need in order for that to work. One, I need either a better camera with a stand or a stand for my phone. So I'm not just like holding on to it like I'm doing right now. Um, and I need a decent screen recorder for my laptop, which there are things for that, but none of them seem to be working out. I heard a lot of really good things about OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, more like overrated bullshit, so I could not get it to work properly for shit. I don't know what the fuck I was doing wrong, but I could not, for the life of me get it working properly. And then I heard uh, Camtasia was good. Couldn't even couldn't couldn't even get the app to open. Couldn't even get the app to fucking open. So that one's out the window. There is one I can get working, and that is that's Bandicam. Bandicam works perfectly. Only problem. It's got this ugly ass fucking um, watermark at the top of it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Whenever whenever I see a video on YouTube that was made in fucking Bandicam, it's got www.bandicam.com on the top and it is so fucking distracting. I hate it. I fuck, I hate it. Makes my fucking OCD act up like a mother bitch. I swear... Anyway, getting seriously off topic, um, <laughs> that might be what I have to use, and I ain't happy about it, but at the very least, I need, I need either a camera with a stand or a camera stand for my phone. One of those two things. And I have neither of those things, so that's, that's not gonna work. Because... 
I, I can I can do reviews in this style, like my own unique reviews, but then when I was going to review off initially, I had, you know, a plan to make this a very special review. I would be putting more effort into it than anything else I've put into put effort into before. So let's face it, I don't put that much effort into my videos. I would actually be putting effort into this one, legitimate effort, and yeah, I don't really have the things I need to make it work, so I was kind of just jumping into that head first and was in way over my head. I also had plans for a review series. There, there would be two, in fact. There would be one just as me, pretty much, and then the other one would be, like, kind of like a Filthy Frank 2 type thing, where it was, like, a, uh, be, like, a reincarnation story, basically, which maybe some of you can already see, like, where I'm going with this. Not gonna say it outright, but it would it would be something like that. It would be like a reincarnation type thing. It'd be like successor to old, you know, dead YouTube channel, basically. Um, Cause like a, a fan of Filthy Frank made a Filthy Frank Two channel and basically like was like, oh, I'm Filthy Frank now, but just in a new body. It, it would be a similar thing to that. Um, only with somebody else, obviously. <clears throat> Who uh, doesn't really make videos anymore. Or at least not the types of videos that people want him to make. Um, but yeah, I, I, need, I need some better stuff. I need some better equipment to actually make that work, so gonna have to gonna have to hold off on that one and the off review as well we'll probably review some other games though just like as me um i just need to figure out what exactly games i want to talk about um but more so i think i might just focus on like general gaming discussions like Who's my favorite Pokemon and why? Um, yeah, things like that, basically. So I hope you'll be looking forward to that. Um, I'm hoping to start recording my next video tomorrow, whatever that will be. Will probably be, like I said, a general gaming discussion, no you know, not focusing on one particular game, just, like, a gaming discussion in general, but... Yeah, that's all I... Well, okay, maybe, maybe a few more things. Um, I might still keep making Soul Calibur Six videos, but... Seems like that game in general is just, like, dying. Right? It's even, like, been dead for a while because, like... The main, like, soul tubers, this is what I'm gonna call them, any YouTuber dedicated to Soul Calibur 6, their channels uh, seem to be dying. Even Dark Nemesis, who has, like, I wanna say, like, over 8,000 subscribers, nobody really watches his content anymore. And whenever I make a Soul Calibur 6 video, hardly anybody watches it. And then there's Kitty Mauser Gaming, who has more subscribers than me. 700 and some odd, as opposed to 500 and some odd. She doesn't get very many views. And just in general, the soul tubers just don't get very many views. Some of them don't even get very many subs in the first place, so. That leads me to believe that Soul Calibur 6 is. Nobody cares about that game anymore. And I, I do. And, you know, Kitty Meowser does, to an extent. 
I'd like to assume that anybody who makes content on that game specifically cares about that game. But as for the viewers, nah. Nothing. Nobody cares about Soul Calibur 6 anymore, so... Hopefully it'll change when the next set of DLC characters come out, but... That remains to be seen. Anyway, that's all I really have to say. I hope you look forward to what I put out next. And I'm hoping it will actually be worth your time. Peace out for now.